What is up, everyone? Welcome back. Today is the day to assemble my GP water block for my RTX 3080. Now, this video is going to be a two part video that where one part will be focusing on the disassemble and assemble of the water block onto this GPU, and another part will be uh, hooking up the assembled GPU or do the water cooling. Look. So, just sit back and enjoy the video. So, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out any either part. So, so before we can assemble the GPU block, we must first disassemble all the back plates and the fan, the front cooler, this GPU. So, let's take a good look at what do we have here, right? So, what I see is a bunch of uh, Phillips screw on the back plate. So, I reckon that we have to loosen up all this. Phillips screw first, that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 Phillips screw. 9 Phillips screw that we have to unscrew it first. Only we can remove the back plate, then we can remove the fan coolers or the GPU. So. Hmm. Okay, let's unscrew it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Let's, go. And let's see if this back plate comes out easily. Because if there's. Something's still holding onto the back plate. Oh, I see. Oh, so these are not the. Uh, so. This. Okay, this. They are not any uh, screw heads because the screw heads. Oh shit. Okay, the screw heads are inside here. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's inside this PCB. So this just gives me more work. I have to actually take out the entire cooler first. Only I can access to take out the back plate. Hmm. question is how. Okay, then let me try just unscrew this Philips over here. Ooh, ooh, okay, 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 something is coming off, something is coming off. Ah, yes. Yep, the PCB and the, the heat sinks are separated now, and we have some wires that we have to deal with. So make sure you disassemble the fan cables. Okay, so this whole chunk of a cooler can set aside, touch them, you don't have to dis disassemble them. Now to the main point of this PCB, okay, so I promise that I'll tell you what's wrong with this PCB, right? That why the GPU water block is very rare for this, very rare for this model. As you can see, the most annoying thing of all, Gigabyte. Why do you have to do this? Why? Just why? Look, why do we have to do a special connecting point and then you do an extension cable to come out into this two two pieces eight pins connector? Why? Why do you have to do this? The other model, ASUS, MSI, even your more premium brand Aorus, and some other uh, Asian. AIB partners, they didn't. They don't even do this thing. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why? Okay, so some other GPU markets, they they have the water blocks, but they don't give a special uh, extension cable. So you're gonna have this chunk of ugly shit hanging around, and you have to just plan out how you're gonna manage your cable. So, oh my god, Gigabyte! Why do you do this? Just why? So, sorry about the rent. Let's get back to the point that we have to disassemble the back plate. And after that, I have to clean this uh, thermal paste here. Yep, clean up this thermal paste. And get okay, assemble the GPU. Okay, let me 
tidy up this place. Sorry, the table is about huge. It's quite small. Okay, my workspace is very limited. So we have a bunch of Phillips screws. Uh, let's see, one over here, one, three. Yep, three Phillips screws holding down the back plate. Now I think the back plate should come off. Yep. It's on. Oh my god, I hate this computer so much. Uh, why are you doing this? Yeah, why? Right. So this is the entire PCB of the RTX 3080 the Gigabyte model. The entire PCB. Let's have a closer look. Yep. You can see that the chip is over here and all these are the VRAM modules and we have the MOSFETs. Okay. So by ski they have these thermal pads for you to put it on. So make sure you use the thermal pads. Okay, now we can set this aside. And we are going to assemble the GPU block. So um, I clean up the GPU chip, so you can see it's shining bright right now. Right. So what we do now is we assemble the GPU block out of the PCB. So the few things to note here when you install the GPU block, cause so one, you have to apply a thermal paste on this GPU chip for the heat transfer from the chip to the water block. And you also have to use these uh, thermal pads, which usually they will provide it for the GP blocks. They will provide these thermal pads. Make sure you apply on the VRMs and all these. Uh, these these are the RAM modules, and these are the VRMs. So make sure you lay down your thermal pads on it, so to help the heat transfer because those parts they do get hot. So. Yeah, you can see that they even this block they have um, this special cutout point here like this rectangle slot rectangle rectangle even here this part has a little bit of rectangle cutout okay it's not exactly cut it's extrude okay so this is basically an indication that you have to put thermal pads on here so let's just apply our thermal pads and thermal pads then we can Screw this PCB on to the GP block. Okay, there. Now all the RAM modules and VRM they now have thermal pads. And what's left is the thermal paste and we can assemble this GPU block on to the PCB. So <coughs> I'm gonna use this not toi thermal paste. Just gonna apply a bit, not too much. A grain of rice. Yep, that's about it. Should be enough. And if you doubt yourself, you can just apply a bit more over here. A bit over here. Some people complain, oh my god, it's too much thermal paste. <laughs> well, some people complain that it's too less thermal paste, you need more. But anyway, that this should be enough, okay? Should be enough. Okay, so I believe everything is aligned here. Yep. Yep, the I'm not sure if you can see it, I don't think you can see it, but from what I can see here that all the thermal pads they are in contact with. Whatever they have to be in contact with. So I think we are good to go. And just screw everything in. Okay. So Okay, let's set it down this way. Okay, 
So the design for this, this back, the back plate here has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 screws. But you do not screw in these screws first. What you have to do is you have to <coughs> use this uh, retention, this screw that has a retention spring here. More focus. Focus? Is this focus? No, you can't focus. Okay, never mind, you get the concept. It's, it's screw with springs, okay? You have to set it down over here. You see these four holes? That's directly uh, the four corners of the GPU chip. So you have to secure the chip first. Make sure you use this um, white plastic washer. This thing right here. Yeah, make sure you use it. Very important. Okay, just a little bit, not too tight. We don't want to crack the GPU chip. Otherwise, that's the end of my graphic card. And I won't be able to play games for God knows how long. Okay. We don't want to tighten down on one corner. We just apply a bit of pressure. Then we go ahead with rest of the corners, zigzag pattern and then after that we slowly tighten down the remaining corners still in the zigzag pattern and not too tight there, that's tight enough do not over tighten it otherwise you're gonna crack your GPU chip so yes, everything seems fine, there's no uh, there's no band on the PCB, luckily. Yep, no band. So it means we're on the right track. I hope so, really. I hope so. We don't know anything until we plug this back in and making sure it's on. Right, so that is the back plate. Okay, I believe this back plate goes like this. Okay, so the back plate, you also need to put the white washer here. All right, I'm gonna stop it from here. All right, uh, what I say was wrong. So you're not supposed to use a transparent washer for the back plate because what you have to do is you have to apply more thermal pads at uh, the back of these capacitors that's directly attached to your VRMs, your VRAMs, so like at this point, that's where your yeah, that's where your VRAM is and this is where your VRM is so make sure these parts have thermal pads because that's where your thermal pads can come in contact with your backplate over here and your backplate is a very perfect heat sink for it to dissipate heat so make sure you do that otherwise your VRM is going to heat up your VRM is going to heat up and I did experience some um, uh, power draw fluctuation because my VRM is hitting up and in result with my game frames actually dropping okay make sure you do that apply thermal pads behind your PCB do that right I'm showing myself up I think that's all. Let's see if the PCB still looks fine. No sign of bending. Let's see if the back plate is touching anything on the PCB. I 
I think the clearing is fine as well. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go good. So Okay, we're good. So I guess that's all for this video that we have assembled the GPU block onto the RTX 3018 Gigabyte model. So make sure you subscribe and on the other video we will be hooking up this GPU block onto the water cooling unit. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.